Hi guys, this is lesson number 44 from our Coral Draw training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to fit or adjust square image to rectangular area. As you can see in my screen, I have one image here and the proportion of this image is square. But to the right side, I have rectangular shape and I fit that image inside that shape with additional element. You can see that here we have a cloud also. It's very useful technique once you are going to adjust or fit square image to your desired area whether it is rectangular shape vertically or horizontally. Probably one of my subscriber he asked this question that he is preparing phone cover and it is in rectangle shape but his image is square. So how we can adjust image to that rectangular shape since the upper area in his image is cloud and he want to stretch up. I replied in the comment section and try my best to explain enough but I feel that there should be some visual presentation. I could prepare one video for that. So it will be beneficial for everyone. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how to fit this image to rectangular shape and how to add some additional element and blend with the image. You can see that I have rectangular shape and this is the size of mobile cover Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge. The size is seven by 14 in centimeter. Soon I'm going to show you how to adjust the size if I will click on this rectangular shape, you can see that it shows here it is clipped image. You can see the power clip feature here. So if I will click on extract content, you can see now everything came out and I will move it out here. This is a rectangular box. If I will click it and right click here, you can see the outline around. Now it is a picture box since power clip is active. So if I will click on the image here, you can see that it is a group image and here I can ungroup and can show you the detail. If I will click this area, you can see this is a cloud and it is a separate image and we apply transparency mode to match the color with this. And under this, we have image, upper area of the image, it is expanded. We intersected this part and stretch up to fill this space. Let's see how it's done. Control Z, undo, zoom tool, zoom to page height. First of all, we are going to create shape with a specific size, go to the rectangle tool and simply create one rectangular shape. Click and drag just to draw a rectangular shape. If you want to resize this rectangle, you can click on pick tool and select the page. Click on page. Once you will click on the page, it shows here the units. My units, I have centimeter. Once you will click here, you can choose your desired units. So I will leave centimeter here. Since you are using centimeter measurement units, you need to measure your device horizontally and vertically with the measure tape in centimeter. So I have a rectangular shape here. Once I will click it, you can see that here is the size. So if I want to give the fixed size, Galaxy S7 Edge, my size was seven horizontally and uh, vertically it was 14.5. You can type and then press enter. We have here fixed size, seven by 14.5. If I want, I can apply the corner radius. Make sure that round corner option is checked here. Select it. Any one of the side, you can type here radius, but check first, make sure that this lock is enabled. So once you will change from one side, all the sides will be changed. So 0.5, I am going to add radius and press enter. So you can see that from all the side, our radius is 0.5 because it is locked here. If it is unlocked, different radius from all the side, you can apply to your shape. And this is the image. If you want to import image, you can just go to the file, import, and that image I have here. You can see. The proportion of this image is square and the upper area of the image is nice sky background. And this blank space you can see here, we will expand it to fill the gap here. So the first thing we need to resize as much we can. Bring this image here. We can send it back object order to back of the page our shape is in the front and the image is in the back we'll just resize as much we can okay so this is enough now we are going to intersect that area using another rectangular shape so click on rectangle tool and simply draw one rectangle this way all right go to pick tool and select the image now press shift key and select the image. This new rectangular shape and image is selected. Simply click on intersect in the property bar here, click on intersect. From the picture, 
that area is intersected. Now I can delete this rectangular box and select this small intersected part. Initially, actually this intersected part is whole picture. Okay. If I will expand using shape tool, you can see the rest of the picture. So in this case, you cannot use envelop tool. Okay, here we have envelop tool. You can see once you will come under shadow tool, but if you will use envelop tool and expand it from the side, the whole image will be shrink in this area. So it's a problem. So we will avoid envelop tool this time. We are going to use only pick tool. So it is here. Just bring it back. Control Z in the same place. Now we are going to use pick tool to stretch up this way, resize it. All right, nicely the space it's been filled. It's a good idea to merge this part with this image. To do that, we need to select both of them. This part is selected, intersected part is selected. I can press shift key and click on the image. Now both of them are selected. Simply click on bitmap, convert to bitmap. And here you need to choose your color mode. Since I am recording, I will leave RGB, but if you intend to print, you need to choose CMYK, okay? So I will leave as it is and then click OK. The intersected part and the real image become one. Okay, somehow it is fine, but if you want to blend another image, still it is possible. We are going to import another image here. File, import, and you can see that I have image here, a cloud. You can search in the Google any of your desired image for your practice purpose. I am going to use this. Import, just place here, click and drag. From this image, we are going to use some of the cloud area. So we can use crop tool. Here we have, click on crop tool while the image is selected. Only you need to select the image, deselect everything in your page. Otherwise, once you will crop, everything will disappear in your document. So you really need to care this thing. You need to select only this image that you are going to crop and click and drag over that image, the area you want. Let's say I want maybe this much. You can double click inside or you can just click on crop. So once I will click on crop, now our image has been cropped. And once you will crop the image, it looks similar the way we intersected this part. But once you will crop, you will lose the initial image. Now this whole area is only our image. If I will go to the shape tool and uh, expand it from the side, you can see that the rest of the image you cannot see anymore because it is already cropped and this is the final image. Just bring it over here, over this image and expand it. Now we are going to use transparency control to blend this image with our photo. So while it is selected, you can go to the transparency and choose one of the mode which is suitable for your a background image. So let's try here multiply. It doesn't work. You can see that it's giving different mode. If you cannot find your desired color blend from that modes in the last red, green and blue, you can try one of them will be suitable. Let's try red. No, the cloud areas disappear. Green. Yeah, that is fine. You can see that this green mode, it is matching with our image background and that is fine. But you can see that here our image area it is affected the picture itself so for this thing we can use fountain transparency our transparency tool is still active just click and drag this way to blur the lower area that is fine okay so you can see that properly blended with our background image now this area this part the cloud area it is selected I will press shift key and select the background image. It's a good idea to group before you clip the image inside the shape. Both of them are selected. Simply I will click on group. Since this cloud area, it was in the front. So both image comes together in the front. So it is simple. Just go to the object order to back of the page. Now our shape is in the front. While this grouped image is selected, object, power clip, place inside frame, and simply click inside the shape click inside so you can see that now the image has been clipped and if you want you can remove outline right click here so we don't have outline so this is how successfully we expanded the area to our desired shape and we blended this cloud area using transparency control that's pretty nice and useful trick the first thing you need to measure your device i used my 
measurement unit centimeter because centimeter is having small increment and the mobile device or tab it is suitable for that. So you need to measure both sides horizontally and vertically and follow the instruction from this video to create your desired shape and then clip your image with this technique. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys if you like my video please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.